Why do some extremists or extremist groups choose not to engage in violence or only in particular forms of low-level violence? Why is it that even deeply violent groups, there are often thresholds of violence that members rarely, if ever, cross, even if they apparently have the capability to do so? Part of the answer is likely to lie in the countermeasures put in place by state and non-state actors that seek to inhibit the activities of such groups. But in most cases, this is only part of the answer. Detailed empirical accounts of such groups indicate that there are also often pressures within the groups themselves that inhibit the adoption or diffusion of greater violence. The limits on violence are to some extent self-imposed. Yet to date there has been scant systematic analysis of these internal breaks on violent escalation. My name is Dr Joel Busher. I work at the Centre for Trust, Peace and Social Relations at Coventry University. Over the next few months, I will, in collaboration with Donald Holbrook at Lancaster University and Graham Macklin at Oslo University, be developing a typology of the internal breaks on violent escalation. The project sets out to answer three core research questions. The first of these is, what are the different types of internal breaks used to inhibit the adoption or diffusion of new and or more serious forms of violence? The second is, to what extent are these internal breaks specific to particular forms of violence. The third is how is the effectiveness of these breaks shaped by the way in which they are applied and the context in which they are applied. So who will benefit from this research and how? For security, intelligence and law enforcement practitioners, the typology can help them to better understand the propensity towards and away from specific forms of violence by particular groups or subgroups and help them to assess how externally applied countermeasures might interact with internal breaks. For academic researchers, the project will enable the development of formal hypotheses about these internal breaks, how they work, when, why and where, a crucial step in gaining a deeper understanding about the patterns of terrorist or extremist activities and how, ultimately, violence can be more effectively inhibited. For more information about the project, please visit the CREST website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk.